A special shout out to Nightwing6139 who accurately predicted that the next binder will be blue. So this video I will be showing off the last part of my EX series collection, um, EX Dragon Frontiers and EX... Uh, yeah, I can't remember it again. This is annoying. Power Keepers. Yay, I remembered it. Okay, so there we go. And this binder pretty much has all of my sets uh, from uh, Generation 4, as well as these first two EX series sets. So this binder will last for a while. And then after this, I have another binder full of my un incomplete black and white series cards. Anyway, so here we go. As before, I will only be showing off the cards that I actually have, although with Dragon Frontiers at least, I have over half the set complete, which I am very happy with. So Dragon Frontiers is one of the more popular sets, and it's not just because Charizard Star is in this set, and no, I don't have it, I wish. I would love to get it someday, but I don't yet. Um, I don't have it yet. It's not just because of Charizard Star, it's pretty popular because all the cards are just so pretty. I mean, look at these. Uh, right about here, you're definitely getting into the kind of art that we are so used to seeing nowadays. I don't know what it is about it, but there's just something about the way that they made these cards that makes them very similar to what they look like now. And I am very happy with that. Well, <laughs> I have really run out of stuff to say with these sets, so please, um, Please bear and bear with me. This is actually a reprint card from I think Sky Ridge. It's identical to the, to one of the E series cards, uh, Pupitar cards. So that's a little tidbit for anyone who's interested. Anyway, so looking at all the rest of them, then we're getting into the trainers, and I don't have that many trainers. Um, yeah, I only had three trainers and two special energy. But from this set, it's a little unique because, except for my EX Dragon set, this is the only one I have more than one EX from. I have this Delta Species Latias EX and Delta Species Tyranitar EX. Both are very awesome. Then here we go with Power Keepers, beginning with this awesome Reverse Hollow Charizard. I think I have about half of this set as well. If not, it's extremely close. For most of my sets, I have at least half the cards. Some of them I don't, but that's basically my short-term goal is just to get half of all the uh, cards within each set. And then after that, I'll work on completing them slowly. So, with Power Keepers, um, there's not really much to say about this. This was the last EX series set. It was also the the um, this was the first EX series set in a long time that didn't have any secret rares. It was the last one that didn't come with a box topper. No, that's not true. But it doesn't have any secret rares. I'm trying to think of what else it doesn't have. Anyway, um, so we're getting towards the end here. Believe it or not. This is a short video, but this is the beginning of a new binder, so that's something really cool. Stay tuned tomorrow, and I'll delve into my Diamond and Pearl series cards. And getting towards the end. Energy Switch is still playable. I know of plenty of people who still use that art. Great Ball is not, even though they have printed Great Ball since then. It has a completely different um, effect, so it, the old one isn't playable anymore. Special Energy, Special Darkness um, in particular is not playable anymore. I do have one EX from this set, Skarmory EX. Let me just zoom in on that. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? I forgot how I managed to get that, but it was awesome. And then I also have one star from this set, Flareon. I believe Vaporeon and Jolteon are the harder ones to get because Vaporeon's pretty and Jolteon was for a while actually playable, at least playable in the sense that someone used it to win worlds that year but anyway and then i have five of the six hollow energy i'm only missing a water so that's pretty much it for um this for now i'm just gonna end with a shot of the flareon star oh man that's pretty that that camera really picks it up really well there so beginning tomorrow, I will go through my Diamond and Pearl series sets, one, um, not one by one, but a few at a time. So it'll take a few days, probably another week or two, to get through the rest of my cards. 
I'm sorry if you don't have that kind of attention span, but I have a lot of cards, and people really like to watch this. So if you did make it all the way through, then leave a comment saying Flareon Star. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and stay tuned for more.